So anyway, welcome back to the channel. I'm the one and the only review gamer. So my guys, here is the ranking of all three seasons of the Disney Channel television series. Casey Undercover, by the way, Casey Undercover does star as the day of Coleman as the main lead of, well, Casey Cooper. Casey Cooper is the character's name in the TV show Casey Undercover. I've officially finished watching all three seasons of Casey Undercover. It's quite an amazing show. Um, the show in particular ran from, I think, I know, I definitely know for a fact that uh, Casey Undercover ran for three seasons. Okay, for me, I just ought to choose type of KC on Disney Plus. By the way, um, you can actually stream at Disney Plus right now as of October 2nd, 2021 on um, Disney Plus. Which is actually where I watched all three seasons of Disney Plus. Uh, the show ran from 2015 to 2017. It is like a spy comedy kids action adventure show. Uh, this is actually... It stars Dea, Marissa Dunn, uh, and Tammy Townsend, which I probably 100% mispronounced half of those names. But, so anyway, let's get into the ranking of all three seasons of Case and the Cover. So, when we come to number three is season three. Um, season three was a little bit duller for me compared to season one and two. Um... The, the states were not at their highest as they were during season one and season two, and I just felt like the character was not actually brought to life very well for um, any of the characters. To be honest with you, none of the characters, and at the very beginning of the season, like, but Marissa wanted to be a spy for the organization, and then like this other this group called. The other side hired her, but she thought she was actually working for the organization, and though she was actually technically working for the other side, trying to get details on uh, Casey's mission, and every time, and Marissa was telling them, like, about every single time Casey went on a mission, and, like, what the mission was for, different things, it just didn't stick well for me, it's just not that great of a spectacular So that's my biggest problem with season three for Case Undercover. Um, the states were not their highest. There was no no memorable characters. The only thing that I remember uh, from season three, and now give or take, I just watched this season not that long ago, and there's nothing going for it. So by far the worst season for Case Undercover is season three. Coming number two is actually season one. Season 1 of Case Undercover, it had that great hook for it, like any show to get me interested into the series. Um, the show for Season 1 was actually quite well organized. However, my biggest gripe was they had to pull in more stuff to bring KC to be like a spy. And then I just didn't think they portrayed it right. I don't really know... I, my biggest problem with season one is I wish they would get more of a backstory behind uh, Casey's family being a part of the organization. And, like, different things like that. Like, to better understand the storyline of Casey's family being the spy part of the organization. Um, also, season one, I just don't think they should have told Marissa. Within, like, I think it was, like, in the first five episodes. Um, let me double check that on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, actually, literally, episode five is when, um, Marissa, uh, finds out Casey is a spy. So, I just think they should have waited maybe another... 10 episodes, another 5, at least around episode 15, and I'll be okay with um, letting Marissa find out that Casey Cooper was a spy. I just didn't think they needed to tell her 
like right off the back of within like the very first five episodes of Casey become her spy, kind of just like ruin the fact that she's not like, mm, yeah, just now the the my favorite season of Casey and Recover is season two. Uh, season two actually has a lot of memorable episodes, a lot of two part episodes as well. So, um, one like Cooper's reactivated that that two part episode was really well made. And really well done. Um, another one that I really remember from season two was um, Casey's Tightrope of Doom, which is like a two part, I would like to consider it like more of a Casey movie than like a two part episode spectacular. And then, like, another one that I really enjoyed was the uh, final. Three episodes like Holly, Holly, Not So Jolly, which is like a Christmas time, and then Collision Course, and then Family Feud, and then like that. That's like so well made for, for like season three, season two. Um, overall, best season to me probably season one, but out of the ones that I remember the most most episodes out of, it definitely season two. But out of enjoyable. Uh, season 3 be last place, second place be season um, 1, and first place be season 2. But based on like actually how I like the season, like the season overall, being third place be season 3, second place be season 2, and then for first place be season 1. So anyway guys, thank you guys for watching this video. This is my ranking of all three seasons of KC Undercover from the worst to the best. Guys, let me know in the comments in the comment section down below. How you guys will rank all three seasons of Case in the Cover from the worst to the best, and then also let me know in the comments in the comment section down below why why did you rank them the way you did? So anyway, guys, make sure that little bell notification will be the first one to know every single time I upload a brand new video right here on my YouTube channel. See you guys next time. All right, bye. And come back check back tomorrow for my ranking of all four Halloween Town movies from the worst to the best. See you next time.